U.S. Senator Menendez has condemned Shawari's arrest and promises high-level intervention. Menendez, who Menendez, who had been involved in attempts to pressure the Nigerian government, promised U.S. intervention in the matter over Shawari's case. New Jersey is watching, the United States is watching, and the world is watching. I fear that the blatant harassment of Mr. Soiree and activists and journalists whose only crime appears to be exercising his right to free expression is becoming symptomatic of increasingly closing political and civic space in Nigeria. The Nigerian court had twice ordered his release on bail and the state security agencies openly defied the court order each time, leading me to conclude either that Nigeria no longer respects the rule of law, or President Buhari is woefully out of touch with what agents of his government are doing in him. This is unacceptable in a country that calls itself a democracy. After over 125 days of my husband being in, in detention illegally, he was finally set free yesterday. He got to speak to myself and the children. For the first time, they got to see his eyes when they spoke to him, when we FaceTimed with him. I haven't told them yet that he was rearrested. Um, I am truly shaken to my core at what I witnessed. I was woken up at 4 a.m. to see what I can only call truly outrageous and a, a gross um, disregard for the rule of law. How do I tell my children who, after 125 days, have for the very first time spoken to their dad and seen his face, that he is again in detention and he may not be coming home for Christmas.